<laughs> so you ready to go camping? Yep, all packed. You know, <clears throat> I'm a little jealous of you, son. When I was your age, the closest I got to camping was when my moms didn't do laundry and I had to sleep naked on a bare mattress. <laughs> now put that on, let me see what you look like. Little fireside kid. Boo! I'm okay. What you got in here? Camping stuff. Oh, yeah? You think you brought enough Skittles? Not if I have to share. P.S.P. Look, Bobby, the idea of camping is to survive in the wild, okay? It's about roughing it, son. I only packed one game. That's rough. <laughs> Edgar? So I don't have to be alone in the woods. And Melvin? Edgar doesn't like, like to, to be, be alone, alone either. <laughs> yeah, okay. So where's the stuff that we had on the checklist, huh? Where's your socks? Where's your underwear? Where's your pants? Oh, I had to take that out to make room for the stuff I really need. Whoa. Aw, he's never spent two nights away from both of us before. You think he's gonna be all right? Look, Nisi, there comes a time in a man's life where he has to face his worst fears alone. No, Bobby's not gonna be alone. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about me being stuck here with you. You gotta come. Look, I know you're a doctor. Do you have to operate tonight? What's wrong with the guy? Ooh, that's not supposed to do that. <laughs> All right, maybe next time. All right, please. What's up? Lauren just canceled. <laughs> you kidding, right? What are the odds this gorgeous woman who I've never seen, who you allegedly met at the supermarket, canceled again? Dirk, she's a doctor. She's on call tonight. Apparently, there was some big accident. Yeah, her giving you her number. All right, man, so have fun without me. Come on, man, you gotta go. You know how hard it is to get reservations at Phoenix? Whoa. <laughs> you going to Phoenix? Look, Dirk, the reservation is for four. What am I supposed to do? <clears throat> I mean, come on, man, I don't want to sit there and be the third world and pretend that I'm on my cell phone checking my messages all night. <clears throat> I see. Hey, whatever you gotta do, do it fast. We gotta go. Uh-uh. <laughs> I have not had dinner yet. <laughs> oh, Nisi. There's some leftover oodles and noodles in the fridge. Robert. What's up? Come on. Fanique well, is the hottest new restaurant in town. We gotta go and spy on them. Check out the competition. Oh, that's a good idea. Then we can see what's going on from the inside. Inside. Hey, Bobby, Whitney. <laughs> My date is waiting. Okay, give me 20 minutes. You got 10. 15. Five. Well, don't expect no miracle. <laughs> but who am I kidding? I came out the room fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Leather menus. Ew. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look into that. <laughs> yeah. Look into the forks, too. I like the pass. Are they poor? No, they're just checking out the competition. They own a restaurant, too. <clears throat> so, Dad, Robert tells me you're a psychologist. Is this date court ordered for Dirk? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just order your food, Nisi? Now, Dirk, remember what we've said about being passive-aggressive. You're right, you're right. Nisi, mm. shut up. <laughs> Good looking out, Doc. Yo, check this out. They're having that too many dating thing here this weekend. Oh, that is so corny. Well, actually, you know, I've had a couple of friends who it's worked quite well for. Who them desperate housewives that hang around you for free advice? <laughs> <laughs> Derek, what does it mean when we make fun of others? It means I'm really making fun of myself. You know what you're getting? Yeah. What? The catfish. 
Ah, it's got pecan sauce on it. You gotta break out. Get the duck. Oh, I didn't see that. How long have you two been married? Mm-mm, mm-mm, no. We're divorced. Yeah, it's been three years now. <laughs> I see. You know, this place reminds me of that place. That oh, we... with the thing that they... Exactly, exactly. That was a great place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't use the bathroom. Oh, hell no, not again. Mm. <laughs> uh-huh. What? what? <laughs> Nothing. It's just that I would never know that you two were divorced. Yeah, well, my bank account knows. <laughs> my last statement didn't even have numbers. It just said, keep your head up. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got the same look in your eye you had when I told you I was afraid of clowns. Yeah, I said it. I'm not ashamed anymore. What's up, baby? It's really not my place to say. Nah, nah, go ahead. We want to hear your professional opinion. I mean, yeah. you can't offend us. Okay. I think you and Nisi are still in love. That's Take some this a bull. Bit. I mean, if she can read people so well, why she dating dirt? I know. I'm talking about, I think you and Nisi are still in love. I mean, look, we were married, we have a kid, and, and, and of course I love you, but I don't love you, love you, you know what I mean? Thank you. And I don't love you, love you. Right. <laughs> Hello? Hey, big fella. Oh, that's Bobby. Is he okay? Ooh. Hey, are you all right? No. Well, what's wrong, Puddin'? There is no pudding. <laughs> the clowns took it. Along with my Twinkies, my Pringles, and my video game. Bobby, I thought you were gonna pack the things that weren't a checklist. I didn't pack it. Mommy did. Nisi. What, what am I supposed to do? This is my baby's first trip away from home. I'm not gonna just throw him to the wolves. Look, this is supposed to be about being in the wild, okay? Enjoying nature, surviving by your wits. Go. The counselor is onto my stash of gummy worms. Oh, but be careful. And I love you. I love you. No, it's too yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, we never should have got divorced. I know. I still love you. And I do mean love you, love you. Oh, uh, Mr. Pass my bedtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>